Welcome, friends, to another episode of Seven Days to Die Modded with Darkness Falls. So last episode here, if you missed it, we just got done Horde Night, and we are looking good. Not too much damage, not too much repairs, not like the Screamer Hordes. Those were actually quite insane. Uh, it actually went over pretty damn well, and I'm excited with that. So it's been a few days since I've been able to play. Oh my god, I've gotten so much stuff done here, I'm trying to beat the summer rush and when alpha 20 comes out guarantee guys i'm calling it now alpha 20 will drop maybe mid-june around you know the end of school in the united states i i believe that's about the time but i guarantee you that's when alpha 20 will drop they're kind of sitting on it right now i have that feeling <laughs> kind of enjoying their time off here before they you take advantage of the extra traffic during the time off all right anyway whoa good thing i am invincible here with Parkour. Almost forgot the perk that was involved. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead, turn the stuff off here, get the horde base all shut down. Uh, I was going to go and organize everything, but what I've done is organize my own inventory. We're going to head out today and we're... Oh, I forgot to grab uh, JT and his brother Sam in there. But we're going to head out today. We're going to go all the way up to the radiated biome, get a quest uh, from Caitlyn here, and see if we can pound out some quests for her to see what happens when we earn her some favors. So I gotta stop by home, go to my underground base, and grab some food, and we will be off. We are definitely almost there. Do I see the airdrop? Oh no, did the airdrop go away? Whoops, whoops, I don't actually want to go off-road here. In the 4x4, it is awful in the radiated biome. Going off-road, all those little things you hit all over the place just a giant pain in the butt but here we go we've arrived at caitlin's let's go ahead climb up okay and i'm around we'll go through the front door there we go let's go see what is up trader caitlin let's see what you have for jobs here she has the we want something nice and close something south so we're gonna go with the tier five clear zombies and it is the factory large hmm I'm not sure I want to do that one. Let's go ahead and see if she has any other jobs here. She has 1.8 uh, east, north, north, and southwest. What's this one Can right I here? Trust you? Church 01. A tier 4. Yeah, you know what? Let's do some tier 4s. We'll slap out some tier 4s. I think that'll be fun because like, there's only a limited number of tier 5s. And they kind of get boring and repetitive after a while. Now we get to go and clear out a church. Now, how far away is that? Holy crap. It's all the way over here. I didn't even know there was a town over here. It looks like we're going to go on an adventure, guys. We can definitely handle this, I think, and explore and find a new place. Exciting stuff. But before we leave, let's go ahead. Let's see her inventory here and check out her secret stash. See if she has anything good in here. Ooh, I should buy those uh, generic schematics, too. So, uh, Trader Caitlin, as it turns out, has crap loads of parts. Just loads and loads of parts. So this is definitely a good place to come and get all of that stuff. Yeah. Okay, I'll go at the front door. I always try to go in and out that way. I can't get through it for some reason. Zombies and enemies and everyone else. Whoa! Well, I guess I should have uh, looked around a little bit before... ...venturing out. What's up, tough zombie businessman? Keep you permanently stunned. But that didn't feel good, did it? Okay, anyone else? Holy crap, I'm just trying to grab some cash here, guys. Oh, I'm making a scene. Okay, there we go. Let's go see what we can buy. There we go, 1,000 electrical parts. That is quite a bit. Comes out to 50,000 Duke's Casino tokens. Barely even put a dent in these, but look at that. 1,000 electrical parts, that is a lot less collecting we have to do, and a lot of ammo, which is pretty damn sick. Cloth fragments? Cheap as heck, too. We're going to grab all of those. I'm going to also buy some repair kits, too, because I forgot to bring some extra with me. That'll help out greatly. And, uh, you know what? We're going to grab up all of this oil, too. How much does the stack cost? 77? That's nothing. We get so much from Horde Knights. I also have a big stack to sell to the trader as well. Thank you! The cool beans! There we go. We got some more supplies. That'll save me a lot of time. I'm going to go ahead, jump on this 4x4, and we're going to head towards our new desk nation damn it i didn't look again i gotta keep my mind on that lay down cowboy well it looks like this little dirt road i was following over here was the way to go pretty a damn sick so guys 
dirty truth. I gave driving with my mouse a try. And I'm honestly really liking it. Not gonna lie, I find I have more control on the long drives. It's a little easier to drive. I just press the W and kind of look in the direction I want to go. And if I simply want to look around, then I can just switch the controls using the mouse button. So not, uh, not too bad. Oh, look at this. There we are. We're to the church already. Pretty exciting stuff. There we are. Okay. Oof. Right on. There we go. That actually wasn't too far. Maybe we can even make it back before nighttime. That might be uh, wishing a little too much, but hey, it is what it is. Got a pumpkin out front. I never realized that they added that to this BOI. That's pretty cool. It's been a while since we've been here. So let's go ahead, pop this bad boy open, and go and start doing some smashing here. So we'll go in. We'll sneak as much as possible, take out as many as we can. Uh, with our pistol or melee. Actually, I think I'm gonna switch this out for my laser sword here. We'll, we'll get those switched around. Holy crap, a little bit of a leg spike there. Just a whole bunch of crap to spawn in on me. That's usually what that is. Like, if, if you get, like, a big leg spike like that, I find. I don't get them too often, but when I do, it usually means uh, a whole bunch of zombies just spawned in. So that actually may be a wandering horde. So hopefully we don't get that while we're clearing out this church. That can be a giant pain in the butt. So we're pretty much going to fly through here. I don't think I'm going to do too much looting aside from getting into uh, safes and, and high value stuff so we can sell some stuff to the trader because I pretty much, I think... The heck? Want to be uh, in and out of this place. But apparently we have a very angry wolf somewhere up here. Did it just break into the church? I think it actually may have. Oh, we got a few zombies actually coming, chilling around this place. Ah, there you are. Hey, coyote. Whoa. Ooh, <laughs> right over the railing. I love it. Okay. Uh, I'm hearing more zombies. Is this our wandering horde, I'm wondering? Or, oh, there you are. What's up, buddy? Okay, let's get inside here. And take care of this place. Okay, and here we are. And it sounds like it actually may be some zombies inside here. So what I remember... Yeah, that part breaks and then you fall down inside and there's a whole whack load of zombies down there just a waiting for you. So, uh, let's go ahead. Actually, where are they all headed here? Ah, oh, damn, I couldn't hit them with my pistol. Okay, they're probably headed up actually this way. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is meet up with them. Boom, just like that. <laughs> no chance. I just corner snipe those guys. Boom. Okay, the reason I'm using my pistol right now is because I don't want to make a lot of noise. I only want to wake these guys up a few at a time here and uh, take advantage of the whole place. Oh, look, some house stuff just in case I need it. Doubt I will, but it's there if we do. Oh, yeah, this place has a whole ton of bookcases, so I'm definitely going to, like, check the bookcases here. Those ones came in from outside, 100% they had to. Whoa! Oh, jeez! I was looking at the red dot up on my, uh, up on my compass. I didn't even notice this, this guy was actually directly in front of me. <laughs> Pain in the butt. Okay, there we go. I gotta start getting used to using this thing. So I think I got the bookcases here. Did I get these two over here? That is the question. Oh, no, I didn't. Look at that. I missed them. Good thing. Oh, oh, oh wait, wait, wait. What book was that? Ah, here we go. What book was that? Reloading Weekly. Okay, we've already actually read that one. But look at that. We got 42 bundles of skill notes already just from this, just from this one room. Oh, nice of you to drop in. Where the heck did he drop from? Oh, maybe he dropped from there and stumbled. <laughs> it looked like he dropped from straight up there. That doesn't make any sense at all but yeah this is always a good room to come and get these things we can turn these into skill points so it's high, highly highly valuable all right let's go ahead and continue on guys you know this main room here i've, I've done this one a few times so it's a little easier now but uh it's it's always fun coming in this one this one's one of my uh favorite smaller pois to gather like it's it's a tier four but it doesn't feel like a tier four like, you know what i mean it's got whoa Oh crap, that's a mutated. Oh wow. 
What am I doing? I'm slapping him with that thing there. <laughs> okay. Well, the gun definitely took care of him, but holy crap, I'm just walking up to him, slapping him. <laughs> and that a cop dropped three stun batons and the steel knuckles. <laughs> See what I mean? We can get trader cash so easily. Uh, sometimes these coffins, I believe, too, drop a decent amount of ammo. Oh, look at that. I leveled up by looting stuff. Nice. Okay, so I gave all those coffins a go. We got some schematics, we got some ammo. All very, very good things. And oh my god, I should probably let my guy eat. He looks a little hungry there. There we are. Thank you very much. A little extra stamina never hurt either. Okay, there's definitely going to be a few zombies up in here. Bang! There you go. You're not going very far very quickly. And the rest of you. Just one? That was easy. All right, and here we are to this. So we got a radiated hunger zombie. Holy crap, those ones take a beating and a half, and that one literally just lost his head as soon as he came in. Okay, awesome stuff. Look at that, more trader fodder. Oh, we got a mutated nurse. Damn, those things are huge. It's nice actually starting to see those in P uh, POIs now, too. Those things, when they do drop loot, actually give pretty decent loot. Look at that. We're just flying right through this place here today. Okay, so obviously we want to walk around here so I'm not falling down. And up we go. I think this is actually the first time I've followed the route uh, of this build logically. I always try to cheat the damn thing. All right, here we go. There's one lonely guy up here. Didn't even need the second swing. Uh, are we going to fall down? No, I don't think so. I believe we are a... Okay, oh, there we go. We got a radiated hungry zombie up here, so she takes a few bullets. We're gonna drop her. There we go. What is up, zombie? Oh, <laughs> thank God. Thank God it takes a, a little while to get back up after falling. Okay, you're doing it wrong up there, bud. There we go. We got one more zombie break. Oh, Jesus. I'm doing it wrong. We got one more zombie breaking through up there. Okay, let's let's go help him out here. Uh, do, do, do what is up, buddy? Okay, do, do you need some help? Need some help? Here, I'll help you open my sword. I'll cut through this wood with a sword. There we go. Oh boy, guys. Look at this. Pop goes a weasel. There's one, two, three, <laughs> four. Whoop. I do not believe that is a sleeper. <laughs> Okay, there is going to be a whole bunch up in here, I believe. And I don't think that's a sleeper either. No, that is a body. So let's go ahead. Try to do the sneaky sneak here. Look around. We got one over there. Ooh. Damn, I should have reloaded there before firing, but we got this. Whew. That is a sad way to go, buddy. I'm sorry, but it was the only way. Okay, we got a nurse over here. Boom, just like that. <laughs> I love sneak damage. All the zombies in the room is so much fun. Oh, damn it. I think I keep hitting that table right there. That's that's what's going on. All right. Ah, what am I hitting? Is it this candle, bro? Is that how you say that anyway? Anyway. Oh, my God. <laughs> Shamefully took way too many bullets. Okay, and I'm assuming there's a few zombies up in there, too. So let's do a little more sneaky sneak here. Uh, look around. Okay, there's no zombies up this way. Oh, there we go. There we go. Clear shot on that guy. Where's he going? Boom! Didn't even make it off the ledge. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. Alright, look at that. A scrapsy. Get up here. And what is up? Where's that? Where is it? Oh, it must be down below. Oh, okay, it was down below. We missed it. It's just a white, though. A feral white, but whatever. We got him. Okay, and here we go straight up to the roof. Wow, we're making real good time on this. It's 1731. It's gonna be real sketchy here trying to get back to Trader Caitlin. I really don't want to be in that biome uh, during nighttime. That biome is a nightmare at nighttime, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, apparently I did not wake up the birds here on their little perches, so we got rid of those, and that was the clear. Nice. Uh, now I just have to double back and actually find <laughs> all of the, uh, or the, I'm sorry, 
The White River Supplies. I always call that the treasure, and that's definitely not what it is. There we go. Got everything nice and prepared and broken open here. Let's take a look. Okay, that was a little bit of a skinny box. And this one here, you know what? We'll take that. And that can actually just... It's one forged iron, guys. We won't use it. And a couple plastics. Okay, plastics are always good. Small medical supplies. I don't even care about that thing. And weapons bag. Oh, these always sell very well to the trader. Look at that. 1500 just for that. And I'm not even keeping these parts anymore. We can make those really easily, and we have a ton of them. So uh, they're just getting all worked up now. So we got everything open aside from the hard chest. Let's see what this bad boy has. Ooh, look at that. We got some real armor up in here. Nothing really high, like high level, though. Kind of disappointing. A lot of trader fodder. Sick. Okay, guys, we got this done. It is 1820, 1900, 2100. Damn, guys, it's so close, though. So close. You know what? Screw it. What we'll do then is look at this city. Let's take a look here. We're, we're way high up here. We may as well take a look around and see what's going on. Oh, there's another mine over there. That was a cool POI when we checked it out. There's a little bit of loot up in there. Uh, wow, there's even more. Or is that... Oh, yeah, that's that city over here. Okay, so this one's real close to the other one. But looking around, doesn't look like we actually have too many places here that I want to check out. It's not too much crazy stuff. Uh, there is that little house over there, though, that modern-looking building. That looked like it might be fun to go and check out. Let's do it. May as well just kind of chill around the, the, the city for the night here and then work our way back in the morning and see Trader Caitlin. There we go. Don't have to go back the long way this time. How nice is that? I just loaded my 4x4 and I turned around. Look at this. There's a little library right here. This is a nice, easy clear. And on top of that, it gives you... Oh, no, guys! Oh, <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, I forgot to get... No, why? Why have I done that? I'm so excited by things I forget about the other things. I just failed that <laughs> quest. Well, I guess we don't have to go back to Trader Caitlin. You guys are probably screaming at the uh, at your monitors and devices that I was running away from the place without getting the damn. Wow. Okay. Well, I can't even edit that, so if I wanted to, it wouldn't happen. Not that I would, though. You guys pretty much get the raw stuff. <laughs> I messed up. All of the time. That one, no, that one kind of sucked. At least it wasn't a tier 5, right? A tier 5 would have been worse. And holy crap, look at that. There's a treasure map in the garbage can. We'll definitely take those for the plastics. And I'm going to break in here uh, just to kill some zombies and get some rage out. All right, come at me, zombs. Oh, is there no zombies in here? Oh, well, that was easy. <laughs> oh! Oh, what the hell? That is unfair. I'm glad I saw that, though. That is unfair. That is a bear. Okay. Boom. Oh, 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 oh. reload. <laughs> it can't get down here very easily anyway. There we go. One bear down. Oh, boy. Look at that. That is one lucky football player. I kept missing his head. Maybe it's because he has a tiny little brain. Whoa. Whoa. Where did you go? Holy crap, that was some lucky headshots right there. Jesus. Where did those guys, were those guys on top of the library? <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, well, we made it through that. I'm <laughs> glad I turned around and looked back up at those things. That would have been incredibly dangerous. Okay, there we go. So I stripped this place down here. Let's take a look. I got 111 bundles of skill notes. Not so bad at all. And a bunch of little tiny parts here and there. We really don't need that leather, but it does sell decently to the trader. How much does that sell for? 232 for a handful of them. Not a bad at all. So yeah, these libraries are definitely worth a hit up even late game. If you guys drive by one, always a good thing to do. <sighs> Church, I'm sorry. You know what? I think I've done this exact thing at the church before too. I think that's a complete repeat of uh, what's happened in the past. Now, of course, uh, I don't really have a point of sticking around here for the night, but I do want to run over some pigs. My bad. Whoop, let me finish the job. There we go. 
And we are going to drive in reverse all the way down here. What's this right here? Oh, a working stiff's tools. Okay, working stiff's tools first. When there's a popping, eh, I don't want the popping bills. There's a whole bunch of crap over there. But a working stiff tools will definitely have a few handy things in it. All right, so let's go ahead and jump up into the window here. And I was going to say silently take them out, but apparently we've woken them all up already anyway. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, start taking some of these guys out here. Yeah, there we go. We still got the sneak attack on that guy. Cool. Are these locked? This one's not locked. There we go. He's down, though. <laughs> All right. Boom. 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 Whoa. Whoa, I'm up on the car. That's never a good play. Holy what the heck is happening here? A uh, few just fell off. Whoa. Jesus. Whoa. Oh, no. The pig came back for the fight, too. The pig's like, yo, I got your backs, bros. He was picking on me, too. I'll help you take him out. There we go. Can't take out me. I was right backwards here with my baton and that stunny guys all dead. Whoa, bird. Even a bird got in the mix. I don't even know where that bird came from, but holy crap. Look at that. We got a, uh, whoa, damn it. I have a broken bone. <laughs> we got our butts handed to us. That was really funny though. Uh, do I have, I have nothing in here. I have nothing at all. Uh, anti-radiation pills. That really won't help. Yeah, we have nothing, but that's okay. We're going to be going home shortly anyway. That was that was just funny. I could have just taken out my gun and taken them all out at once, but... Nope, I'm not about to do that. Okay, stop. Just go away now. Stop interrupting me. Okay, you know what? We're going to just take care of business here. What is up, everyone? Oh, they all came out to party. Never mind, then. All right, let's get these opened up. We got... A chainsaw? I'll take the chainsaw. I, I think we have some trouble headed our way, guys. That, that sound doesn't... You know what I'm going to do? Just in case we get grouped up on. Here we go. Tear it here. Oh, look at that. There's a zombie. Whoa, look at that. I think take out the windows. <laughs> Why are you going in there, zombie? That's not very smart. Uh, is this one reloaded? Yeah, we're good to go. Okay, awesome. We're gonna put them there, and that way I can just back up to them. I'll use my sword here as light, and we'll get the rest of this place sorted. Okay, I definitely hear a few zombies now. I think they're actually uh, outside, so let's go ahead. Look around the place here. Okay, we got a couple there. What are those? That is... Ooh, one is a feral, so I don't know if that's a natural spawn from the building. Or... Oh, yeah, no, it's definitely from the building. There's a few on top here. Okay, we're gonna have a few incoming now that I've actually used my gun. Oh, never mind. This one right there. Try to get that headshot from a distance. He's down. Okay, what the heck, guys? I think they might be punching their way through the store instead of going around it. Yeah, I think that's definitely what's happening. Holy crap. These two are insane. I love my turrets. Uh, so we have to give the third turret a try again, too. Uh, I did some weird editing, made a mistake, and uh, came to the conclusion that we couldn't get a third turret, but I totally did it incorrectly. So we'll have to throw a third turret down sometime and see if I can actually get that bird. That'd be pretty damn cool. Okay, what is up back here? Oh, we got a few chill now back here. There we go. Let's clear them. Oh, the crap. There's a bear back there, too. Let's... Whoa. Whoa, guys. That was definitely 100% a demon. We got ourselves a demon, guys. Okay, they're going to become pouring out of here any second. Oh, there he is right there. Pew. I think we got him. I think we got him. Turret saving my butt here. This oh no the there he is. What's up, demon friend? Demonic soldier. Look at look at. Holy crap! That guy takes so much damage. Look at this thing go. Holy crap! <laughs> these things surprise me every single time. Okay, well I'm gonna take out these last few. Whoa, whoa, whoa Jesus! That guy was dodging every single bullet because I was laying them out there like a pro. Okay, there we go. 
Got these bad boys reloaded. <laughs> this is actually kind of fun. I like doing this at night. Sorry, guys, if it's a little dark, but I do my best. Okay, so I'm hearing another zombie bear. Oh, there it is. Holy crap, stuck in the building. That's okay. Actually, let's go ahead and farm this guy. These guys give us lots and lots of rotting flesh. Okay. Holy, what the heck? More of them? More? <laughs> How many bears can you fit in one room? That must be a uh, wandering horde. That must be what's going on there. Holy crap. Whoa, did we just take out a demonic soldier with, with a regular weapon? Oh, we totally did. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Jeez, there is so many zombies in there. Like, no, that was definitely all spawns from in here. How many bears can you fit in one back room, guys? Seriously. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, let's get these uh, working stiffs cracked open here. And uh, check out what's in them. It's a little dark in here. Creepy. Okay. This one cracked open. This one cracked open. Uh, just getting some average stuff out of here. Ooh, repair kits. I will always take those. I hate making those damn things. There we go. Okay. Well, we cleared this place out. I'm not going to bother scrapping anything down, guys. We had our fun up in here. Uh, let's get the heck out of here, and I am going to head home. And I'm actually just looking up at the time here, guys. Unfortunately for this episode, I have completely run out of time. So I will see you back next episode. Guys, wait, 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 wait. It's Monday. Monday. Okay, if you've watched this video all the way to the end, guys, it's my girlfriend's birthday today. Okay? I would love it. I would love it if you guys could do this. I rarely do call-outs, but if you guys could say... Uh, happy birthday Skippy's girlfriend or whatever in the comments down below. Uh, I think it would make her day because she likes checking out my comments uh, on my videos and it'd be a nice little surprise for her too if she checked it out on her birthday. And there's a whole bunch of comments wishing her a happy birthday. That would be absolutely amazing. So that's all I'm going to ask for you, of you guys for this episode. Stay classy, always back up them game saves, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.